Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Aksana. If you're into luxury, if you're trying to step into luxury market, this is absolutely safe community for you. You can put any kind of comments, whatever things to my knowledge, I will gladly answer for you and don't be shy because i remember when i was first time stepped into a luxury store it could be quite intimidating so don't be shy if you have any questions comments suggestions please 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 put your comments below today's video is going to be unboxing it's unboxing from fashion file and it's my new chanel bag if you're interested on watching this kind of video unboxing luxuries Please stay with me. Here is humongous package that I received from Fashion File, and it was a little bit of drama, let me tell you, getting this package, but I will tell you about this drama while I do my modeling shots, etc. Right now, I quickly gonna do unboxing. Um, this is actually a receipt of extra duties and taxes that I paid um, extra on top of the actual purchase price and I will discuss this later on with you guys. The usual stuff thank you note and that is actually my receipt. Once again I am gonna share with you everything guys, the prices, the how much I paid extra, everything included. Here is the package and it says used, it's a new new. Okay, just ripping off the package. The package is off, and that's the box. And here is the style, if any of you might be interested. style I don't see this style quite often so that's actually what attracts me to this style so it comes with the care booklet from Chanel obviously the actual original Chanel box it also comes with the original Chanel dust bag and it's a 23 number authenticity code so that's what it comes with so pretty much this bag comes with the full package I have original uh, box I have a um, uh, dust bag, I have authenticity card and even a price tag, original price tag from year 2016. So and I'm going to share with you original price tag and how much I purchased this bag for. And it's here is the original price tag and it was 3200 in year 2016 and you can see how much prices are changing it's sometimes you know scary even to follow the changes in price and um, I will share with you also the actual purchase price but this is how much I pay for this bag so the um, original price was 3200 and you can see that I pay 29.95 I paid also 26 dollars an additional for shipping to Canada That's where, so now where the fun starts like you know financially so you want to see how much this bag at the end actually cost me so as you uh, so that it's actually $29.95 plus $26 for um, uh, shipping. So the appraised value in Canadian dollars, right there. And you can see it's close to $4,000, but it's actually less than $39. On top of that, I paid taxes, brokerage fee, an additional uh, PST or TST fee. So that's the final number that I paid on top of $4,000 that was actually slightly more than $4,000 that was charged on my American Express. And on top of that, I paid $638 
and 73 cents. So from $29.95, my final purchase of this um, bag at the end was close to, uh, actually not close, over $4,600. Actually close to $4,700 in Canadian dollars. So as I mentioned, it's close to $4,700 in uh, Canadian dollars. And once, and if say, I somewhat not satisfied with this purchase and I need to ship it back. Shipment from uh, Toronto to um, California, I believe, fashion file. It cost me roughly about $100, $120. So if you're gonna add on top of these $120 plus the shipment that I already uh, pay from, um, uh, you know, uh, United States come to Canada. So you can see it's an obscene amount of money to lose if item really didn't work out um, for you so therefore right now if i'm buying anything abroad like you know from fashion file or like let's say from some european consignment uh yoji closet vestia collective i want to make sure that that item will work out for me 99.99 percent so i have very very limited window of return for this item because i know it's it's quite costly for me to return some items there we go just a little bit closer look at the bag and this bag is actually made of um, goat skin. Very, very durable. It's actually almost like um, uh, pebbled leather. Like slightly, almost like a pebbled or tiny, tiny caviar leather, but it's uh, not a caviar. It's actually the texture of goat skin uh, leather. It comes with the ruthenium hardware absolutely gorgeous and this is the chain i love it love it love it oh it's almost looking like a rustic old metal chains that's how the bag looks at the back very very beautiful the corners this is the bottom of the bag very very pretty and it has four studs at the bottom for protection. On a grommets right there, it says uh, Chanel, 31 Gambon Street, Paris. There. And right now, actually, you can have very, very good shot of that chain. It's actually first time I have anything in ruthenium hardware. And let me get a better shot of the lock right there. A CC kind of imprinted lock and this whole texture on top of the lock also kind of like you know um, almost like a pebbled texture it says right there Chanel and it's like you're squeezing two sides of this lock and then it's almost like a teeth coming inside so it's very easy to open and close there you go on top there is a handle and obviously there is a long strap so it can be either crossbody or the shoulders strap so let's see inside inside you can see that there is a still even protective plastic there is a two compartments there is one an additional strap if you want to hook your keys or any valuable items. Um, there is a zipper compartment over there where 99% of the time I'm gonna keep that tag and um, authenticity card. So right this bag is made in Italy and it's a gorgeous burgundy interior. It's a fabric, but it's kind of almost like a silky, um, fabric so it's, it's I can see that it will be very very easy to clean this fabric there then there is another compartment the second compartment out front when there is an open pocket for the cell phone and just a huge open space right there gorgeous 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 bag I'm gonna do my modeling shots for you guys. As usual, I love doing modeling shots. 
absolutely adore it's not because um i have to do modeling shots i actually adore doing modeling shots and here is the bag and while my modeling shots are running i just want to tell you a little bit of the story what happened with the purchase of this bag i don't know for whatever reason this time uh, when the bag comes to a uh, Canadian custom, the Canadian custom decides, decided to seize the bag. And when I called UPS, they said it's just a random package that they decided to seize and not release it. Um, so I was working with UPS closely trying to get release of my uh, package. It took roughly about uh, five uh, days to actually get release of this package. Um, so it was shipped uh, from um, Fashion File on September the 25th, and I received it in Toronto yesterday, October the 9th. That's how long it took for um, for me to actually receive um, this bag. But I absolutely adore this bag. And what I love also about this bag, on the description it says it's a gray color. And yes, it's gray. But I'm not sure if it shows actually in the, you know, picks up in the camera. But in the real life, it's almost slight lavender undertone to that gray color. Uh, and I absolutely adore it because it's um, uh, fairly, um, saturated color so it's good enough for winter it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous with any blue coat or i mean black coat you know with black everything goes quite well but even with the gray color coat it will look absolutely fantastic but what i like also about this um bag that it's actually gonna look great also in summertime because it still has that kind of almost like a lavender undertone that I mentioned that it would be absolutely perfect uh, color tone for summer. Uh, the name of this bag, they call it um, Chanel CC University uh, bag. And as per the box, it's actually size small, but to me, it's kind of quite large. Actually, in fact, I thought it's going to be fairly uh, bigger, you know, when I was checking the dimensions on the um, uh, fashion file side. But when I received it, it's, it's, it's decent size. It's actually quite good size, but not overwhelming. Let's put it this way. I, actually, I can maybe give you a comparison with um, some of my other bags that you can see the difference let me pull my uh, speedy 25 so you can have a visual difference in sizes so here is my speedy 25 and here is this university box so you can see it's uh, obviously it's a little bit taller but kind of slightly skinnier than speedy 25 but otherwise, it pretty much has the same capacity as a Speedy 25, I would say. It fits almost the same amount, I would assume. But I mean, just visually, even I can, I can tell. So let's just do a little bit different. Let's just do comparison with my Chanel Coco handle. And I have Chanel Coco handle in a small size. You can see that Chanel Coco handle slightly um, shorter, but the width is almost the same. Chanel Coco handle slightly smaller, obviously. So it's just a bit bigger than Chanel Coco handle. So you can see it's a very, very comfortable size and fits a lot. And I'm actually thinking that Chanel Coco Handle is going to be today my bag of the day. I hope that you enjoy this unboxing. If you have any question about uh, Chanel CC University bag, please uh, put your comments below. Um, it's unfortunately or fortunately for me i would say not quite common bag so you don't see it really it's been sold everywhere because I, it was a seasonal bag in year 2016 and it looks like it's never um made it round back but i absolutely adore it and later in like in later years i start getting bags that not quite common let's put it this way i love all the classic bags but i would like to have in my collection 
something different you know something that shows my true personality and I'm absolutely happy that I was able to obtain this fantastic bag please put all your comments in the comment section if you like it dislike it what do you think of color what do you think of combination of gray color and ruthenium hardware i absolutely adore it thank you very much for watching my video i hope to see you again on my channel if you like the video please don't forget to give me thumbs up if you like my channel in general, please consider subscribing. I hope to see you again and until our next meeting, bye bye.